Hi, this is a software video review from softwaresland.com and today I'm going to review a personal finance package that is called Microsoft Money 2007. Now there's a new version 2008 out there on the Microsoft website, uh, but this is the version I'm using and so I am going to review it just now. Now the program is very easy to set up and has uh, wizards along the way to help you on your personal finance goals, okay? And this is the screen. Um, this is the screen of uh, of my for my personal information. Uh, but to make it easier, I'll go uh, and create a new a new money file and I place it on the desktop calling the test, okay? Okay, now um, this is the wizard that uh, that lets you define. Uh, that lets you define uh, all your settings and everything for Microsoft Money, and uh, you actually need a Windows Live ID to get into Money. Okay. Okay. So if you already have a Windows Live ID, you can just um, you can just use that. Uh, and if you don't, there's an option that actually lets you set up a Windows uh, Live ID, uh, which is a Microsoft Windows Live ID that uh, that you're going going to use, and you can actually back up um, your information to the website, to the Microsoft website. So uh, when you've signed in with your Windows Live ID, um, go to the or you can create a new Windows Live ID once you have that. Uh, you go to the next screen where you can set up um, all your accounts and everything. Okay, so first of all, you probably need to add a banking account, and this is uh, where you can choose uh, uh, from all the banks that the that the program supports. And actually, if you, if you, the program supports your bank uh, or credit union, then you can actually download all the financial statements uh, from that bank. Uh, straight direct into money so you don't have to re reconcile all your balances and all your transactions uh, manually okay now if your bank is not listed you, you have the option of uh, of using a, a different bank okay uh, or creating a new one so account name check, checking account and this is the uh, this is the amount you have uh, and this is the amount that's the current balance of the account okay now um, once you do that, you can add another account, like a credit card account, okay? And let's say it's a line, it's a credit card that's uh, that's with a company. Now you can with you can define all of that. Let's say you owe uh, five thousand seven hundred forty uh, U.S. dollars on it, or or any other or any other. Currency, US dollar, okay. Or you can use euro if you're in in, in any eurozone country, okay. Um, as easy as that, okay. Now you, you then you specify is the credit card or is the charge card, and uh, if you want to pay the whole balance and each month you can you can you can actually click this and. And then you have the option to pay the full balance each month. I would set the interest rate if there is an introductory rate. Uh, when is it valid until? Okay, and then. Okay. Permanent rate is 18th and the introductory rate is 0%. What's the total credit limit on this? 45,000. Um, you want to allow out the balance. Um, okay, if you if you click on auto balance, you don't have to enter individual transactions, just to balance the whole account, uh, and you don't. And you want to add a bill to the calendar. Um, okay, so this is where you set up the when you want to pay this uh, this bill. Now, if this earns you miles or points or any frequent flyer things, you can actually track that 
as well. Now once you have that, uh, you can set up all your accounts, your credit cards, and then you can actually go ahead and set up your all your bills and your wages, okay? So here if you click new, uh, you can actually add a new a new bill or you can add a new a new salary transfer and you can have a bill calendar and your history of transaction and everything. Now just to make it easier, um, I will actually Okay, what I'll do is actually I'll delete the test file and I'll just go through my um, through my different my accounts. Okay, so this is my saving account and this is the lodgements I'm making to this particular one, and and, and it's very easy to do a lot um, to enter all the transactions onto it. Okay, and then you can see all kinds of cash flow transaction, cash flow forecast, and everything else. And this is how it looks like so over the next 30 days, next 12 months. Okay, so if I'll continue spending like I am now, this is how much I'll have in my current account. Um, that doesn't uh, include my other accounts, my savings accounts, and all that. And it's um, the program has a lot of reports like assets, liabilities, spending by category, uh, spending by month, uh, all the all the month to month comparison, and what you're spending now, what you did last last month can track various categories so you have it on your main screen if you want like uh, how much you're spending for petrol or for groceries or whatever you want then it's uh, it's really 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 um, it's really really cool like that and um, it's a really cool uh, personal software package and uh, it also has videos and all the help that you need that, you know, that comes with the program so uh, I would suggest it to anyone that that wants to track their finances Okay, this has been a software video review from softwaresland.com and good luck.